Today, we are going to speak about tax planning. If you became tax resident in Spain this year, then you will have some obligations to do on tax issues. If this is the case that you became resident, then this is your video. If you became resident in Spain in 2021, whether you did it as a non-lucrative visa, or maybe you did it with a golden visa, or maybe with a TIE, with different kinds of visas in Spain, then this is your video. Because if you become resident in Spain, you will have to declare and make some declarations or obligations into Spanish tax office. Okay, if you became resident in Spain this year, and let's put the example of in a yearly year, because in Spain, for tax purposes, we need to count the natural year from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. Okay, let's put that this year is 2021 and you become resident in Spain in 2021. Okay, and the first rule that we need to explain is that if you live in Spain more than 183 days in Spain in a natural year, from here to here, then you are tax resident in Spain. I will write it here down, it's 183 days more than This is a general rule. If you live more than one, eight, three, three days in Spain, then you become tax resident. Obviously, there are situations where someone has become resident in Spain, has arrived to Spain and obtained residency at the beginning of the year. Let's put, for example, as an example, in March. And some other ones came or started to be resident in Spain with a TIE in, let's say, November. So the difference, obviously you can see it, the one who came in March and lived all the year until the end of the year has been living or will be living more than one, eight to three days in Spain, but the one who came this year in November will live less than one, eight to three days. Let's focus at the first time with the ones who become resident. I will write it down with a different color so we can make a distinguish. So, from the 1st of January, and let's put the date is the 30th of June. Hmm? So, if you became resident on that date, then you are going to live more than one a days in Spain. If this is the case, which are the obligations in Spain for the following year? Okay, I'll write it down the following years, what will happen. Okay, in the following year, the first thing that will need to be done is Modelo 720. And Modelo 720 from the 1st of January to the 31st of March. Modelo 720 is an informative declaration. It's an information that you give to the tax office if you have assets abroad. Let me explain you this specifically Modelo 720 because it has some specifications as, as it has like three pillars. Let's put here Modelo 720. One of the pillars is you need to you need to show and, and inform which properties you own abroad in Spain that the value of the acquisition when you uh, started to be owner is over 50,000 euros. Mm? So always each pillar needs to be more than 50,000 euros. 
So if this is the case that you own a property abroad in Spain, you will have to make this model 720. In the following year, in 2022, from the 1st of January to the 31st of March. Hmm? And we're talking about that you obtained residency in the first semester of the year of 2021. Hmm? Okay, the second pillar of the Modelo 720 is the bank deposits, bank accounts. Hmm? I mean, all of them together, all of them added is more than 50,000 euros and we are talking about the bank accounts that you have outside of Spain, not the ones, not the cash money that you have in Spain. I'm talking about outside of Spain. If it's more than 50,000 euros, all the bank accounts together then needs to be included and informed, informed in this declaration. Mm -hmm. Or funds, investments, life insurance that you may have, like funds, investments, or life insurance that you also have with a value over 50,000 euros again. Mm? It's extremely important to do this on time because you will be, if this is the case, you will be tax resident in 2021 and then you will have the obligation to prepare Model 720 if you uh, have assets abroad over 50,000 euros. Okay, this is the first obligation. And uh, what will be another obligation that we have because you've been tax resident in 2021? What will be the, the tax return? At the end will be in between the beginning of April to the 30th of May will be the tax return. Mm -hmm. And the tax return will follow your worldwide income in Spain for 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's important to, to follow this. In the tax return, you must at the end declare your salary, your pensions, any income, interests, dividends, anything that you may have worldwide, it will have to be declared to tax office in Spain. Obviously, accordingly to the double taxation treaties between Spain and any different country. Mm -hmm. That's important too. There are many examples or situations or specialities, but obviously it needs to be worldwide declaration of your income in Spain. Mm -hmm. And in part important, obviously, that needs to be applied, the uh, double treaty conventions, which is a, a must. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Model 720, we have worldwide declaration income, because you were resident and tax resident in Spain in 2021, but also you will be um, subject in case that you own um, uh, considerable um, uh, assets, you will be subject to a wealth tax. We call it in Spanish is, uh, Impuesto de Patrimonio. Wealth tax is uh, still um, applied in Spain, in I would say in most of the regions, uh, in Valencia region, Comunidad Valenciana, this is where I am based, is uh, an obligation and implies to those who have assets on the 31st of December or have um, uh, or also value on the shares in the last quarter, if the value of the assets is more than 500,000 euros without including the property then will be um, subject to be uh, declared and accordingly pay taxes as well tax. So important, you are resident in Spain at the beginning of the semester, you are tax resident in 2021, model 720, tax return and maybe wealth tax. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if you became resident, let's say, let's put now the other example, that you became resident in 2021, but in the second semester, let's say in November. Okay, so in that case, you, it is probably, um, uh, it's a presumption that you live less than one a days. If that is the case, then this year, obviously, 
you will not be tax resident because you lived in Spain less than one eight to three days. So this year, 2021, you are non-tax resident. Okay, so the following year in 2022, what will be the implications? What will be the obligations that you will have to do according to this situation? Well, you were non-resident. If you had income in 2021 as non-resident, then you will have to declare income in Spain as non-resident. If you don't have an income, but you own a property in Spain, then you will have to make a declaration. We call it impuesto renta, no residente. Okay, if you own just a property in Spain as non-resident, you will have to make this declaration. And you can do it from the 1st of January to the 31st of December, and it covers all the year. It's not a high tax, but it's something that is an obligation and needs to be done properly. Okay, you become resident in November of the second semester from July to the 31st of December. But this year, 2022, you have been resident and tax resident because you've been more than one eight three days from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. Mm -hmm. What would be the implications? Because this year you are tax resident in Spain. So it will be exactly the same as, those were, as, the, as the example that I said before. If you become resident in the first semester, but in the following year, in 2023. So, in the first quarter, 1st of January to 31st of March, will be Modelo 720. Hmm? Again, implications of Model 720, properties abroad, bank deposits, funds, investments, life insurance, over 50,000 euros. Hmm? And it's important because it has a big fines if you don't do it. So it's important to plan and prevent to do this correctly. And also, in 2023, because you've been tax raised in Spain in 2022, you will have to make your tax return. And exactly the same as I said before. Worldwide income in Spain, you have to declare and pay accordingly taxes and also apply for the double taxation treaty. Again, if your assets are over 500,000 euros without counting your permanent home, then you will have to also to declare your wealth tax in Spain if you are resident in Spain, but not just that, also the worldwide assets if they are over this, this specific um, amount. So it's important to, to plan if you came at the beginning, if you came before, before or, or, or beginning or, or maybe the second semester, because if you made, imagine that you made a selling of your property in your country, this year you will be treated or non-resident for tax purposes or resident for tax purposes. So it's important if you're going to mature, you want to withdraw, uh, you, win some, uh, you want to get some cash from some pension, it's important to plan whether to you to obtain residency at the beginning or at the end, because at the end, whenever you become tax resident, you will have to declare those capital gains, you will have to declare those income and how it's treated as a general base, like high percentage or a saving a, a rate, which the percentage are lower from the general rate. Or maybe if you are non-resident because you became a resident in the second semester, then will not be any implications on, on taxes. Okay, well, I hope that uh, this uh, explanation is uh, helpful. Obviously, I will be happy and I will be um, 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 uh, able to assist you in any question you may have in the future accordingly to this tax planning, which is extremely important for those who are coming to Spain. Thank you.